Want to make it easier to prioritize your work for the day and figure out where you may be blocking your teammates? Start your day with the Launchpad. In this workshop, we'll cover how three teammates use Launchpad and Code Suggest across Gitkraken and tools to prioritize their work, be more responsive to PR reviews, and simplify making code suggestions. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, uh, today we are working on a collaboration using Launchpad and Code Suggest between three members of our team. I will be the dev who made the PR. Melise will have some changes to suggest, and Trevor will actually be checking on the status as if he is the team lead. All right, so um, first, let me just check out my launchpad. Nope. Oh. So once it loads, we can see that I have some PRs hanging. Uh, we can see that... Here's one that needs some, uh, you know, the CI is failing, but it also needs some review. So it's waiting for a review from the uh, person that I've tagged, which is Melise. Let's go look at that PR real quick, just to be sure. And it's a very simple PR. Uh, you know, this is just for demo purposes. But we can see that I've upgraded my action in GitHub Actions. And really the main thing that we're doing is uh, kind of upgrading these slides in this presentation I'm giving to talk more about the Git Kraken platform. So from here, uh, I'm going to hand it off to the reviewer, which is Melise. All right. Thanks, Chris. Um, now let's take a look at how other GitLens Pro features come together in combination with Launchpad to make this a team sport. So I've already got my branch checked out here, uh, working on my code. We can see that up here. Um, and in the commit graph, we can also see that right here. It's very neatly tucked away. I've got this branch checked out. Um, but now let's take a look at Launchpad. So in GitLens Pro, uh, I can actually open Launchpad from the uh, command palette up here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and check, check it out in the little gutter bar down here. If you tap this, we can open Launchpad, and I can immediately kind of see the different statuses um, and states of all the different things that need my attention here to start my day. So I've got Chris uh, requesting a review 13 minutes ago um, right here. And this is great because normally this would be a pain for me. I, I'd have to stop whatever I'm doing, begin context switching. Um, and switching between IDs, browsers, and also I'd have to stash stuff, which I just don't want to do. So let's go ahead and tap this needs your review. As soon as it's there, I have several options. We're going to go ahead and open this in a work tree. Um, and this is another great GetLens Pro feature, by the way. Um, work trees allow you to avoid interrupting your work in progress when needing a review for a pull request, which is awesome. Um, so I can create a new work tree and open it in a new VS Code window, all without impacting my other work. Let's go ahead and do that right there. And boom, look at that, super easy. Now, um, bear with me. We're gonna do some advanced markdown right here. We are going to go into, where did we need? Intro MD right here. Let's go ahead and add some bullet points. So let's do, get cracking. We're gonna add, uh, get cracking desktop. Oops. Desktop, desktop, there we go. GitLens Pro, actually, let's just add GitLens and one more. Get Kraken CLI. Ah, why don't we add the browser too? So we'll have Git Kraken going on here. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, and this is where another powerful tool, uh, actually GitLens Pro feature comes in, which is Code Suggest. And it's very similar to suggesting changes on a, a Google Doc. Um, Code Suggest just lets me suggest changes right from my editor and on anything in my project, not just the lines of code that are changed in the PR. So to access Code Suggest, we're going to go over to GitLens Inspect and tab the little icon over here. And from right here, we can actually suggest changes for a PR. So let's go ahead and tap that. And immediately we have the ability to suggest these changes. So let's add a title for these. Um, add it. Get Kraken. Impacts tool names. And take that. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and create that code suggestion. And now we will pass it back off to Chris. We've got a confirmation. Awesome. Thanks, Melise. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so I am sharing my screen. Um, and uh, what I want to do is maybe just check the PR. 
So we're going to go look at conversation here, and we're going to see that a comment was made. Uh, and we can check out what's in that code suggestion over here on getkraken.dev. Looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to uh, commit that suggestion, but I, let's see, I can't edit here, but there might be some changes I might want to make. So let's just go do that real quick. Um, uh, commit releases changes. And if we were to go back, there it is. All right. So we got it. Good to go. Um, but what I want to do real quick is just remember, this is just another commit on our branch. So instead I can, here we go. So I'm over in the intro and I need to pull things down real quick. And that brought in his changes. And when we go up and look at this, we can see that get Kraken is there. And it's just a normal commit like we would expect. So I can just make sure that some of this stuff looks about right. And uh, I believe this is get cracking not that. So again, like I really appreciate the uh, commit changes that um, Melise suggested there. Um, you know, great idea to have this bullet point list. I just want to make sure that it matches up with what I'm expecting for my slides. And I can commit that. There we go, and we are ready to merge this thing. So uh, from there, we don't need to necessarily merge this right now, but we can pass it off to Trevor, who will look at this from the lens of a project manager or product owner. Thanks, Chris. Um, so you just saw Chris and Melise collaborate on a pull request using Launchpad um, and code suggest so that it didn't interrupt their flow and they were able to collaborate right on the actual changes. Um, from my perspective as a, a project manager that works on Melissa's and Chris's team, um, I'm going to use Launchpad as a way to get an overview of all of the work relevant to my team um, and my projects. So I'm going to share uh, my screen and show Launchpad and GitKrack and Desktop. So Launchpad has a personal version, which you can see, um, has a list of all of my pull requests um, and issues uh, relevant to me. Um, I'm using a workspace uh, slides that Chris made and shared with me uh, so that I have the same set of repositories um, that I can filter with in my workspace. Um, but I'm gonna go over to the team view in Launchpad. And in the team view, what that now does is it brings in all pull requests and all issues relevant to the repositories in this workspace. Um, so you can see here, there's three pull requests. Uh, related to this project that Melise, Chris, and I work on. Um, and there's four issues. Um, with GitHub connected as an issue tracker, I can keep track of GitHub issues as well um, in the team launch pad. But I can see, you know, I'm concerned. I'm, I want these uh, uh, slides done by the deadline. So I hop in here just to take a look at um, what's going on. And I can see that this pull request that they've been collaborating on, it was updated about a minute ago. Um, and if I want to take a look myself, I can do things like check out that branch that they've been collaborating on directly from Launchpad. So this is important to me. I can see it was just updated. So maybe I want to go take a look at it. Um, I can check out this branch, um, Anchor Kraken Desktop. And now I can, you know, uh, take a look at uh, with the current status of that slide. But hop back to Launchpad, one more thing uh, to point out is this uh, team Launchpad view. Um, I have a set of actions over here as well. So if I had, you know, the authority uh, to to merge these, I can go ahead and merge this directly from Launchpad, or I can go hop out to GitHub um, and take a look at the pull request there and maybe add comments. That's it from my end. I'll pass it back to Chris with anything else. Awesome. Thanks, Trevor. So I just wanted to show off one more really cool thing about uh, Launchpad in gitkraken.dev. Uh, so, um, right, gitkraken.dev is a fantastic tool. And Launchpad is the first thing you might see when we get there. 
one thing to recognize is that it is fully responsive. So if you're on a tablet, if you're on uh, a mobile phone, you can actually check it out. And one really cool thing is if you're on an actual device and you want to add this to your home screen as a progressive web app, you can do that as well. And it's actually quite simple. So we're going to go here, we're going to click that, and we're going to scroll down to add to home screen. And as a progressive web app, it'll have just better caching, so you don't need to reload every single page, and it'll be right there on your home screen uh, for your use to get there nice and quick. So pretty cool stuff. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. I think, uh, Chris, uh, Trevor, that was a nice um, wrap-up of the launch pad across all the different Git Kraken surfaces. Um, looking forward to seeing everyone at our next workshop next month. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Later.